see this? This is from Nova. Why is the Antarctic glacier bleeding? This is blood falls. Why is that blood running out of there? This is from Nova PBS. Well, I could show you why. <laughs> okay, this is just what it is. This is blood falls. We're going to go down and look at this close in a second. But you see this blue up here? That's not just blue water for no reason. Blood is red and blue. <laughs> when it's when it's fairly fresh, it's very red and it's blue. That's just what happens to blood. This is the oxygenated blood, and this is the used blood. Now, whether it, what this creature is all about, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I can see that all of this is running down into here, and the blood is running out, and I mean running out. All right, it appears that that creature, whatever it was, was frozen in place and the blood still stayed nice and red and fresh in the artery and the blue is still blue. Or, you know, normally they turn black in the mud fossils. I say that all the time. The vein, which is blue normally, is the hematite, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the magnetite blood. It turns into magnetite, very hard. The red stays very fluid because it's hematite. And it, it, does, it has to be very engaged with water because we're water creatures. Everything in us moves through water. So that's why the red really is, um, stays fluid. The black, well, the blue in living creatures turns black because of the oxygenation state. It's, um, it's kind of hard to explain, but it, it's a chemical reaction that turns it into black and the red pretty much stays red. Okay, I just noticed this. <laughs> Mystery of Antarctica's blood falls is finally solved. Well, yes, I have solved it, but let's see how they solved it. <laughs> this would be fun. Okay, this is an article from Forbes. This goes back five years ago when they were looking at this blood falls, and they say they finally solved the problem what it was and listen to it this is this is just crazy to be honest with you it says there was it's been a mystery forever since 1911 when they discovered this oddity now previously they had believed it was due to algae discoloring the water however that hypothesis was never verified because this isn't true now thanks to research by the university of alaska fairbanks we know the true origin of blood falls flowing from the taylor glacier the true origin now what is the origin here's what they say the origin is it says the deep red coloring is due to oxidized iron which is iron is what you have in your blood that's what makes it red in brine salt water which is what you also have in your blood <laughs> it's the salt water the same process that gives iron a dark red color when it rusts. Well, wh what's the origin of it? Where did the red come from? Where did all this iron come from? It's flowing in these, turning into water and rust and oxygen and all this. This is when the iron bearing salt water comes in contact with oxygen, the iron oxidizes, takes on a red color. That's exactly what happens in your lungs. That's identical. 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 <laughs> so they have solved it they realize well it's <laughs> I can't believe this what's the origin now I showed you what the origin is and it, this has been so well preserved that it, the blood is still really literally blood and the blue is still literally the deoxygenated blood 